What is up, everyone? We are back again with some more Tears of the Kingdom. We're here at Hyrule Castle. Uh, we just got defeated, defeating Phantom Ganondorf, and found out that he lured us here with a fake Zelda. A puppet Zelda, if you will. So, they're telling us to go back to Lookout Landing, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, here, we can actually read the, the mission itself. Princess Zelda, who appeared at Hyrule Castle, turned out to be an imposter created by Demon Ganondorf. Demon King isn't yet fully regenerated, so there may still be time. Return to Lookout Landing and talk to Pura. So, there you have it. A little recap of where we're at. Alright, here we are. Go ahead and speak to Pura and see what's going on. We gotta regroup and strategize on what to do next, it seems like. Oh, here's everybody. Welcome back. Looks like it was pretty tough. So how did it go? Hmm. I see. So, to summarize, no mistake in that what you all saw at the castle was the Demon King, the legend of the imprisoning war. Yes. And the princess you've been seeing was actually an imposter. And the reason she appeared at Hyrule Castle was so the Demon King could lure Link into a trap. I knew something was weird. I mean, about Princess Zelda not doing anything to help with these troubles everywhere in Hyrule. But it's all connected. The upheaval, the problems our homelands have been facing, fake princess. It's all happening because the Demon King came back. Mm. So, then, that means the Princess Zelda isn't actually here? Said she's in the distant past and not in the present, right? Mm. Yes. We should consider that to be the case, bizarre as it sounds. It also seems that Princess Zelda was trying to somehow defeat the Demon King in the past. Hmm. Our ancestors made a vow to Zelda. They swore that when the Demon King would, was revived, their descendants would, link, would awaken as sages and fight alongside Link. Oh. But with the Princess Z Zelda in the past, we can't ask her what the plan is supposed to be. And she can't be here to fight with us either. We also don't know anything about the Demon King other than the fact that he's bad news and super strong. What do we do? Ah. Hmm. Based on what you have each told me, it appears that princess that the princess was making preparations in anticipation of the Demon King's revival in this era. There must, there must be some hint we still haven't figured out here in our time. Oh. Right you are. We cannot afford to stand still at a time such as this. It is imperative that we act. Hmm. Hmm. But without any leads. Hmm. Oh wait. You said that six sages were with King Raru when he fought against the Demon King during the imprisoning war, right? Wind. Fire. Water, lightning, hmm. and time. That was the princess. Huh. Oh, wow. I see. Huh? What is it? What do you see? Huh. That's it. There was one more sage back then. Who is that? Huh. Exactly. One more sage that might be here now. I'm sure this is the lead we were hoping for, but we it will be well worth our while to search. Mm -hmm. Each of you awaken as sages at ruins from the Age of Legends, right? Maybe the remaining sage is in a similar location. Mm. That makes sense. So we should search major ruins from the ages from the age of legends. They're as good as a place as any to start. 
if we just searched all of Hyrule randomly, we'd probably never find the stage. Ah. All right, we have a plan. Let's split up, and and let's split up the work and get to it. Yeah. You four go back to your homelands and gather information about ruins that might be related to the remaining stage. Linky, search around and see if you can find any other undiscovered leads. Huh. Everyone's relying on you. Don't let us down. <laughs> yep. Oh, snap. Find the fifth stage. Super cool. Let's talk to her and see if we have any more clues. You have to protect Hyrule no matter what. This Zelda wanted that. The Demon King's power is a force to be reckoned with. So for now, we need to search for the fifth hmm. stage. Following the upheaval, I mobilized the, so the Zonai survey team and investigated ruins connected to the Zonai. But so far, we found nothing about the fifth stage. There must be a clue hiding out there that we haven't found yet. I can feel it. The ruins from the Age of Legend. Interesting. Gotta be honest, I'm not totally sure where I'm supposed to head to. <laughs> well, this is the force of time. <laughs> Doesn't seem like there's gonna be anything here at all. Alright, so, if it's not going to be here, I do have another idea of where it could be. I'm thinking, where is Kekariko Village? Here. I know they have, like, the ruins there and stuff, so I'm just going to go check. So I come here because of these ruins up here. I remember I wasn't supposed to, like I wasn't al allowed to really like look into them. But over here, he actually does have a quest for us too. Uh, let's just see what it, what it is. Ah. Master Link, good evening. Ooh. Are you thinking about the floating ring ruin? I am as well. It has been our, on our minds for some time now. Mm. We would like to suggest resuming research if we may. Have you since figured out what became of Princess Zelda? Huh? What? The Zelda who appeared after the upheaval was a creation of the Demon King? The real Princess Zelda still hasn't been found? But how can this be true? Mm. With such an unbelievable tale and yet... I trust you completely, Master Link. Must be as you say. It's hard to explain, but the princess we saw was somehow unfamiliar. It was as though her very aura was different. Mm -hmm. But if she was an imposter the whole time, that would mean the real reason she ordered us to close off the floating ring rune was because the Demon King saw it as a threat. Is that right? That only means one thing. We should investigate the floating ring ruin immediately. Mm. You are exactly right. There's no, there is no longer any reason to prohibit your research. Let's open up the floating ring ruin at once, Mr. Taro. Uh. Knowledge is tugging on the line. Time to reel in some results. <laughs> your lure phrasing is coming through, Mr. Taro. You must be, you must really be pleased. Mm. It's just. Hmm. There's one problem. We'll need to determine how to conduct the survey. Oh. Clear that the interior of this ring rune is hollow. Sadly, there doesn't seem to be an entrance. The contents of the other ring ruins are any indication. It should be a stone slab inside, inside engraved with Zonai script. Mm. 
First, we should look for a way to confirm that there's a stone slab inside. However, we also don't want to damage these precious ruins. Oh, pardon me. I was lost in thought. I better hurry and tell everyone about this so we can open up the ruin. Alright, there we go. So it seems like this was where we, where we where we were supposed to go. Oh yeah, and look, find the fifth stage got updated. So it says according to Taro, an account relating to the sages is in the ring ruin. So do to continue this one, we'll start this one. Right? Um We gotta start entering the slabs. So I guess it's pretty much confirmed now, 100% that everything that we saw from Zelda... Because I was thinking maybe there was a chance that there was two Zeldas. Like an imposter and a real one. Like why would it lure lure us to the sages? I don't understand that. Right? Like why would a fake Zelda lure us to the sages? Because we need the sages. So I was thinking it's possible that there was two. But it kind of sounds like no. Like the whole time in this time period... Every Zelda sighting was a fake, an imposter Zelda, you could say. So, let's start investigating these ring ruins. We gotta get up there. I kinda just- I think I just made a big circle to be honest. We could have just came up here and then get up in here. And there we go. Got one right here. Can I read that myself? So that covers this one. Way more is there. Is that a ring ruin too? Do I gotta go in there? Alright, let's just go talk to them and see what they say after I did that. Or is this one right here too? Nah, it doesn't seem like this is one. Let's just go talk to them and see what they say. Okay, so he says, It looked like you disappeared into the ring. That can't be right. Ah, forget I said anything. I must have imagined it. Mm -hmm. What's this you've got? Could it be? Could it really be? Oh. Aya, Khaled, look at this. This be the interior of the floating ring ruin? Wow. Stone slab is so clearly visible. <gasps> there appear to be Zonai inscriptions on this one as well, just like in the other ring ruins. Taro, if you would. Uh... Right, let me see what I can decipher. Hmm. Promise, Zelda, solemnly signed, Minoru, Sage of, Hide the Key, Southeast, and Trust, Future, Wish, Defeat, Demon King. That's all I can make out. There's some lettering I can't figure out before Southeast, but Minoru seems to be someone's name. No. Look at the context of Minoru. I do believe this is the first time one of the, these slabs has put a name to a sage. It also mentions Zelda and a demon king. How fascinating. 
Inscriptions are telling us all sorts of essential information. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. It's just that part before the southeast section. I think it says Dragonland. Hmm. Ah, you're right. I know their stuff. This should be read as Dragonland Southeast. Fantastic work, Kaya. Oh, thank goodness I've proven useful. Seems, it seems my continued Zonai language studies have paid off. Oh no, I'm being upstaged. <laughs> Where were we? Something about a dragon land to the southeast. How familiar are you with Southeast Hyrule? There's a site in Farron that has long been known as the Zonai Ruins. It predates the ruins falling from the sky and is home to many ancient relics. If memory serves, there were dragon designs on some ruins that I haven't seen anywhere else. <laughs> Aho! Caleb, great catch. The Zonai Ruins and Farin. There's a good chance that's exactly what this is pointing us at. Mm. That's our Caleb. Fantastic work. Oh. I... What did you just say? <laughs> that this inscription is pointing us towards Farin Zonai Ruins? No, not that. The next bit. There an adjective was used. I believe it started with fan and ended with tastic. What was it again? Uh, fantastic work, you mean? <laughs> yes. Fantastic work. That is what you said. Yes. Caleb, what fantastic work he said. <laughs> fantastic. Me. <laughs> this man. Link, <laughs> when we put together the script on this stone slab and translate it, we get definite mentions of the sage Minoru, the Demon King, and some of the same name as Princess Zelda. Something related to all three of them must be awaiting at the Zonai Ruins in Southeast Hyrule. Uh... We landed a real catch here. Thank you for your help, truly. Now, we've no time to dawdle. There's research to be done. <laughs> Caleb, will you join me? <laughs> oh, of course. I would be <clears throat> fantastic and addition to the team. <laughs> Very good. With that settled, let's be off to the Zonai Ruins and Farum. First, we head southwest. I know where it's at. We'll establish a base in the Popla foothills at the Skyview Tower by the ruins. Alright. Guess I'll meet up with you guys first. Search of new discoveries <laughs> we make for Farron. Baron, Farron. <sighs> they left. Just like that. Well, I'm sure those two will be fine. I must study more about the Zonai civilization. Don't fall behind, Taro and Caleb. Yet it seems somewhat frivolous next to the mystery of the real Princess Zelda whereabout. Don't doubt that she is safe and well. Must believe that. As chief chief of this village, I can't leave my people, so I must place the search in your capable hands. I pray that Princess Zelda will return to us soon. There we go. So this one's still going. Now we've got a clue of where to go to go to next. So the next ruin location. So it seems like we've already been to most of these locations. And it's just the uh, the ring ruin locations, I guess, like the ruin locations. So let's go ahead and, and fast travel to where we we need to go to next. Alright, so we're here. Let's see where they're at. There they are. It's late. Yeah. Ah, so you're here. Came to learn about the Zonai from an expert, I gather. I should welcome you to our humble base of operations. Behold, this is where the real investigation starts. I not like it might not seem like much next to that Skyview Tower, I'll concede. Oh. Going forward, our research will proceed from here. Harold has already gone off to the Zonai ruins. If memory serves, he spoke of starting his investigation around Dracozo Dracuzo Lake. I don't know his exact whereabouts, but if you go southeast find the Zonai ruins he volunteered to inspect. Aww. That said, 
It's night now and he hasn't returned, which is worrying. Did he get swept up in his work at the site? My goodness, the man is absolutely indefatigable. Indefatigable? So, southeast. Over here. So, let's make our way over here. Uh, I'm just gonna use the Skyview Tower to get there. Ah, oh, of course. It's gonna start raining now, huh? I think I see his campsite. Seems like this was his campsite. That's him in there. See what he's got written down. Dear Caliph, the influence of the upheaval has spread to the Zonai ruins. Did you see the pillar shaped ruin in front of the this tent? There shouldn't be artifacts of that kind around here. Anomaly. And there's more. The rubble at the base of the pillar opened, revealing a way inside. A new discovery. Naturally, I will begin I will be going inside to investigate shortly. Join me as soon as you can. So there he is. So let's go. Check him out. See what's going on in here. You came after all. I figured you would after you made that breakthrough at the ring room. But listen to this. I've already got a whopper of a discovery on my hook here. Here, look at this. <laughs> it's a Zonai mural, complete with intact text. The style is unmistakable. Nothing short of a miraculous, that is, it's still here and basically intact. Which, come to think of it, might be ascribable, ascribable to the Zonai's advanced technology. I've got a fair bit of knowledge script, so I just had to try at deciphering it. But some of it still eludes me. Mm. Maybe it's a poem or some kind of code, perhaps. Here, I read it out loud so we can both get on the same page. Oh. First part, first part says. Wear the electric garb hidden at long-necked dragons along the wide-mouthed forest serpent. Where do you make of a forest serpent and dragons there? Mm -hmm. To me, it's, it calls to mind the tall pillars found around these ruins, trying to look like dragons. Forest serpent, though. I haven't seen any designs like that. What am I missing? What other wide-mouthed forest ser serpent is there? Maybe the forest serpent bit does remind me of a song that compared the Tracozo River to a forest dragon. Anyway, there's more to this code. I'll keep reading. Aww. Next, it says, Offer a zone I charge to the altar at the tail. Pretty sure I got that right, but I have no idea what it means. Aww. What in the world is a zone I charge? And where is this tail with an altar? We can crack all the riddles in this code. I'm sure that even greater discoveries await us. There's one thing I'm curious about. Oh. Should have mentioned this, but I found one more Zonai relic at the back of these rooms. Judging from the shape, I think there's something inside, but I can't get to open it. Mm. Can't crack the code, can't get the box open. This this just isn't my day. Pretty interesting. Hey, Zach, how you doing, man? Thanks for joining. So let's see what we got in here. We got the charge shirt. Used in ancient rituals and made from conductive materials. This item produces electricity during thunderstorms. So the storm weather attack will go up. So, let's check out the log. 
So I'm doing the secret of the ring ruins quest right now. So it's a part of find the fifth. First, I started this one, find the fifth sage. I went to Kakariko village and it started this one. So it's like a part of it, you could say. Um. So I'm, so yeah, I'm doing this quest and trying to figure out what to do next right now. That you you reunited with Taro in ruins. Proceeded over by stone dragon statues. Taro deciphered the code found on an ancient mural in the ruins, where the electric garb hidden at long neck dragons along the wide mouth for a serpent offer a zonai charge to the altar at the tail. So something. Uh, don't worry, man. We'll figure it out. <laughs> so something that I think is pretty interesting is he mentioned that that the um, this Dracuzo lake resembled a dragon, according to some. So I think when it says to offer it at the tail, I think it means all the way back here. That's my first guess. I mean, it, it could be this too. I don't know. <laughs> I got it. I got to go look. Follow the river. Yeah, I think that makes sense to me too. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and follow the river. Cause it, like I guess it does kind of resemble like a, a dragon looking thing. Wonder if I wear. Where's that new shirt that I just got? There it is. All right, let's just keep going. <laughs> hey, we got something else here, though. Hey, we got another chest. Our trousers. There we go. Get away from me. Need to wear all the armor? Okay, cool. That does make sense. I just need to find all the armor, right? I'm just missing one more piece. Ah, here we go. That makes it Zach, what you're saying makes sense, like wearing all this stuff that I'm getting and then using it for something at the end. There we go. Alright, so now let's make it to the end. Oh 
so it seems like we're here at the end now. Or, almost. Did I miss that? <laughs> Don't get sniped. All right, I'll try my best. <laughs> oh, what the heck? All right, let's get out of here before. Oh my God, before that happens. Dude, that thing is annoying. Why can't I dive? I'm trying to get the Korok seat from here, but it's not letting me dive. Okay. Well... Looks like we are here, so. Do you see another entrance right here? So let's just check this out. Alright, let's go ahead and put our gear back on. Then it says to offer. Do I have to offer? So I charge. Just one. There we go. Yeah, you can see my armor here in a second. I'm wearing the armor that I just got right now. I think I need it for this quest. Ooh. Okay. Caleb, did you see that? Lightning struck that dragon pillar too. Huh, is someone in those ruins? <clears throat> oh, it's you again. We think a terrible lightning strike hit here, but I'm glad to see you weren't hurt. Oh. I've never seen lightning strike like that. Even stranger, dragon statues' eyes seem to glow just before it. Link. If you know anything about this, fill us in on what happened. Unbelievable. The mechanism in the ancient ruins got rid of the thunderclouds and revealed some new sky islands? Great catch. Another amazing discovery on the books. In fact, I'd say it's the Hall of the Century. It's a significant discovery, to, to be sure. I'd like to investigate further, but we have no way of getting up there. You're right. 
That doesn't make it any less exciting, though. We need to prepare. We need to report this to Pura right away. Oh. Cal, I'm going back to Kikariko Village. I want to write up the recent events around the floating ring room in a report for Pura. Stick around here to conduct a thorough investigation. Find out if there are any more discoveries to be made. <gasps> what? Remain here? You mean alone? Uh... Yes. Even if we can't get up to the sky, there's so much to discover on land. It's our duty to unravel all of it. You can do this, Caleb. Uh... He wants me to investigate alone. Fieldwork isn't my strongest suit. But there may this may be a chance to make a historic discovery. <laughs> right. Leave it to me, Taro. I'll begin preparing at once. I'll need to head back to our base of operations for a, for a bit first. Hey, Meme King. Uh, I am in the process. I'm in the process of getting the, the Fist Sage. So let's check our thing again. Speaker of the Ring Ruins. If you don't the charge tire found in this Dragon Pillar Ruins, offered a Zonite charge at the altar. A fork of lightning heralded heralded the appearance of a new sky island. So should I... Oh, the sky islands are up here. Okay. Hey, thank you so much for subscribing, Team King. Appreciate it. It means a lot. So, let's go ahead and teleport back to right here. Hey, thank you so much for the subscription, William. Appreciate it. And I see what Caleb got to say. Oh, it's you. Did you find my base of operations for surveying? Whoa. The new islands you discovered were an amazing find. I'd love to explore them myself, but we have no way of getting up that high. If only I could fly. I think of all the research breakthroughs I could make. Oh yes, what was I saying? I lost myself in thought there. Since we last met, since last we met, and keeping up my investigation of the ruins, no doubt an amateur ruin enthusiast like you is curious how that's proceeding. That to say, it's a bit early for that now. The investigation is still underway. Even now, I'm hard at work processing everything I've learned, not resting idly, as, as some dullards might believe. Yes, this is my chance to do some solo work. I'll get results, and with them, recognition at last. Alright, guy's a little delusional, I gotta say. <laughs> but, it is what it is. Um... So, okay, I see what you're saying. Oh yeah, and this is the armor that I just got. I know, William, you were kind of asking to see it, so this is the armor that I just got. By doing this quest. Um, I, are you sure I can't just get there by just using this? Can I just get there by doing this? By using the... The sky guitar? I think I can. These are the islands, right? Yeah. yeah I mean, I, I have. Yeah, I, I have more than enough stamina. Let's just see what's going on right here. Uh, so I guess you could say that this is like, right here, this is like the beginning. Oh snap. I already see a problem. Is this match you're referring to? I have that, and I have the- oh no, that's not. Is that enough to protect me from... shock? I 
Okay. Let's see. Alright, see you, Zach. Thank you so much for tuning in. Alright. Peer pressure. You guys peer pressured me into this. I'm gonna keep going. I'll, I'll finish up the the um, these these islands at least. Or stopping. I guess this is a pretty exciting part of the game. Alright, so let's see what we got. Just kind of explore a little bit. See if there's anything. Doesn't really seem like it though. So let's just keep going. Seems like we gotta go this way, so I Oh my god. <laughs> I thought I was safe. So what do I gotta do to not get shot? Do I have to get rid of all my electric gear? Which is like the majority of everything. <laughs> I don't know what to do. To not get shot. Okay. So I do gotta get rid of all my gear. That's kind of whack. We got. Alright, well, I guess let's do that. I worked so hard for all this stuff. No, don't drop everything. Alright, I'll pick everything back up. <laughs> Where do I get the Thunder Helm? Oh, just unequip. Alright, that makes so much sense. Because, like, how tragic would it be to have to, like, just unequip everything, right? Or, uh, drop everything. That would be, like, super tragic. Well, that makes total sense. Thank you so much. Saved me there, to be honest. Oh, I guess we gotta go here. I see a chest here, so... Let me check it out. See what we got. I don't even think I need it. Alright. Let's keep going. So obviously we got this. So what I'm thinking is I have to wear... I have to wear this stuff? Like hit it with something that's metal? Or maybe... Oh, you know what? Where's... Oh, 
Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, I see. Shock fruit? Yeah, shock fruit would work as well. Good point. going. Oh, did I mess up? Well. Oh my god. Alright. I was gonna say, no way. Hey, Egan, how's it going? Oh, obviously, this, that's why this stuff's here. Duh. Let's see what's over here on this side. We got just another chest over here. Later, William. Thank you for uh, for joining. Continue. Trying to see what's down there. Doesn't really seem like there's much down there. I'm doing fantastic, Agan. Thank you so much for asking. You know, starting my morning off right by playing some Tears of the Kingdom, so. <laughs> Let's go ahead and use some thunder. Let's see here. Shock fruit. No? Throwing is the best mechanic. Underrated mechanic. Honestly, I didn't even realize I could do it for a, like a while. Like probably at least half the game is when I started to actually start like throwing things more consistently, I would say. Alright, let's see. some material down there if we wanted to build something. Um oh god. Let's see which way am I going? Going this way. Get away from me. Right? I'm going this way? Started. Oh no, I'm starting on the wrong end, huh? I'm going this way.
Yeah, definitely going backwards. <laughs> Now, this is actually the Thunderhead Isle, so right now we're doing the Secret of the Ring Ruins quest. Okay, I see, I see. We gotta get... we gotta use this to get over there. Answer the silver or something. Get ourselves a fan or two. Alright. I think that should be good, right? go uh oh what are those things called again like those boss constructs constructs okay obviously we can go face it and we probably will actually I only have two arrows. I don't know if I'll be able to. I need to restock on arrows bad. Alright, so we got a couple things here. Emitter. Yeah, that seems pretty important. We got a shrine here as well. So we do got to come this way. I don't know. Can I do this without having arrows? Can I do? Can I beat this thing without having arrows? Because I need to hit the block. We'll try. <laughs> we'll try it. I'll just have to maybe throw other things at it. I don't know. Oh my god. What else can I throw at it? Other than maybe my weapon. Oh no, I just threw it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I did it again. Tolan's going to work. What, so just let Tolan handle it? <laughs> oh my gosh. One more hit. No! Oh my gosh. I swear, if I die... I'm gonna use up all my health. I'm literally out. I'm out of hell, so I better not be facing anything crazy up here. Did 
definitely want to fuse this with something. I think I'd rather just unfuse, like, maybe this. So that I can have that. Alright, let's move forward. Jesus. In the future, yeah, that's a great idea too. That is a great idea as well. If I had arrows, I'm pretty sure I would have got that done like in half the time. But the fact that I didn't have any arrows, this will really mess me up. Oh, the gloom sword. I mean, yeah, if you mean, yeah, the gloom sword is is uh, seems like a pretty good weapon. Oh no! Oh no! Are you kidding me? No, this can't be happening, guys. Please take me back to the top. I can't believe I almost messed that up. So what I was going to do... Man, that would have been nuts. Because I see this is going to take me over there. and So I, I realize I could get this shrine right here by, by going up right here. Yeah, very good comeback. Um... That would have been absolutely devastating. Honestly, <laughs> I don't know if I would have wanted to come back. <laughs> I probably would have just ended the stream there. Alright, let's see what's up here. Got a bunch of these guys. Where's the shrine at? I thought I, thought I was getting to the shrine. Here, I think. But yeah, just stay alive for sure. But I'm just gonna go ahead and switch my gear and try like to avoid these guys right now. I'm on. Oh, I already have it equipped. Yeah, I'm. I'm on stay in alive mode right now. Yeah, there should be a way down in there. Okay, so this launches you. This is not what I was thinking of doing. Oh, but I guess I could go over there. <laughs> right? Am I right or wrong? I haven't been over here. I'll come back. I'll come back. Don't worry. <laughs> but I just realized like I have that there's a way up here. Sun from below to get to the shrine. All right, I'll make sure to do that. Come on, open up. 
Oh, there. There we go. We got some arrows. We don't really need that. <laughs> Sage as well. Okay, there we go. That's definitely worth it, right? Okay. Now back to this. Oh, I gotta switch my weapon again. Check what's in here. I avoid these guys. Can I avoid these guys? Can I make it over there without? <laughs> I think I can make it. made it to the chest, so. They just are basically useless. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> you do need a lot of them, just, to, just for one upgrade. Okay, so... Let's get back to what we were trying to do, which is try to get to that... Um, trying to get... This area. Okay, there it is. So what you're saying is I need to use the ascend ability like right when I'm under there, right? Okay, got it. I see. Now we have a, at least a place to always come up if we needed to. I can use my shield on the tracks. And yeah, I can't ascend, so. I mean, at least I, I did it the right way then. And yeah, man, I did it. <laughs> the shrine imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. Outside equipment is forbidden beyond this point. Proving grounds, short circuit. So it's just one of those where we have to get rid of all the constructs. How do you guys handle this? Do you guys just go all in? Or do you guys try to sneak? Or I always just go all in, I feel like. I don't really think there's any need to try to do this in a sneaky way. your strength for sure Really? 
Damn, that guy took a while to die. Alright, we got him. We got him right where we, where we want him. I, think, I feel like this is the only one that we had to really worry about. We got that guy up there. No, I don't think there is a way to send videos on live stream. Yeah, I guess I could have just got on the high platform and just used my bow. <laughs> I guess I... Oh, I didn't even see that thing over there either. Could have just used that. Alright, cool. We're all done here. Let's see here. So now we just gotta get out of here and continue. Thank you, Meme King. Thank you. Alright, so. Let's see. We gotta keep going this way, right? At least that's what I believe. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I, that happened in Breath of the Wild too, right? In Breath of the Wild, I think you got the. Yeah, yeah, I see that you meant armor. You, you got like Link's like classic look kind of thing. If I remember correctly. All right, got a couple new places now. Got over there. Got over here. Go this way. Seems like this isn't the way that we need to go necessarily. So let's just see what we find over here. I'm gonna guess it's just another chest. <laughs> Or should I try doing the, the shield thing? That's alright, we'll just do this. <laughs> Yeah, it makes sense to use the rocket also because it's going up, right? So you need some type of like, uh, 
yeah, you need that force, <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say. And now we can go this way. I see, I see. I need to get two of these things going. Here we go. Oh, I should have put the propeller on. Alright, so let me see here. Where was I? I gotta put a fan on this thing. Well, on this and on this one. Alright. It seems like we're, we're just gonna have to transfer from this one over to that one. go and there we go okay what is beneath the Colosseum where am I looking <laughs> She said with the wrong thing. Alright, so gotta get up there now. Come on, Link. Yes. I didn't even see this. We don't even need it. <laughs> we don't even need it. So let me go ahead and use that. And then we can just come down here. But we don't gotta face that game. Save game. Alright, I'll save the game. <laughs> oh, I did not mean to do that. I'll trust your judgment and save the game. And let's go here. See what we got. Done and flying. Um, where's this gonna take me? There. Let's make it all the way. It most certainly will. Just in case. <laughs> That's a good call. Good call. Jump. 
what it's telling me to do. I'll save the game again just in case. Alright, here we go. Ah, oh, no, you're good. You didn't miss too much. We are now on Dragon Head Island. Obviously, there's a shrine right here, so I say let's just go ahead and do it. Raru Blessing. Very, very good. Good stuff there, good stuff. Let's get going. Oops. Whoopsie. Push the door? Alright. Welcome back, William. We pretty much just got done doing the Thunderhead Isle. Finally, I've been waiting to get to the second row <laughs> for my hearts. I was wondering how long it was gonna take Ooh, -hoo -hoo. let's see Oh, that's probably why they had that right there, right? So you could upgrade Your hearts if needed Do I have enough? I have to have enough, right? Yeah. Oh snap. It says you open the door on Dragonhead Island. Inside, you discovered what appears to be a Zonai relic on a pedestal in the center of the chamber. Yeah. Zelda's chosen protector. Take this. Follow the light. Super cool. Super cool. Yeah, I got you know. Well, I got all of them except um the last sage. Secret of the Ring Ruins complete. New quest, Guidance from Ages Past. Awesome. That is so cool. I love it. This game just keeps getting better and better. Honestly. So, we'll take it. Obviously, we'll... 
we'll probably just fly with it over over there where we need to get get it. But this time, for real, for real, I'm gonna end it here. I think this is a good stopping place. Uh, I did the quest, did everything that I need to do to to get to the next area. Yeah, I'll make sure to take it. I, I won't, I'm not gonna leave it behind. <laughs> I'll make sure to take it. But I'm gonna save that for next time. Uh, thank you so so much for everyone tuning in, watching, uh, participating in the chat. If you like it, of course, like and subscribe. It means so much to me. Follow me on Twitter slash X. There you'll you'll get updates when I go live, when I upload videos. Um, and yeah, thank you so much, guys. Peace.